Today we're going to be talking about handheld dynamometry. This is a handheld dynamometer, actually a microfet by Hogan Health Industries. And to begin with, we need to make certain you understand that a handheld dynamometer like this is not the same as a hand grip dynamometer. The handheld dynamometer is held in the hand of the examiner and applied against the individual being tested, whereas a hand grip dynamometer is held in the hand of the person being tested to determine how strong their grip is. But anyway, we're going to be using this to measure a number of muscles of the upper and lower limbs. There's some things in common of all those measurements. That is, they'll essentially be measured gravity eliminated. And as well, with the exception of two specific actions, all of them will be measured with the individual tested in a supine position. First, we're going to measure shoulder flexion. That's done with the shoulder at 90 degrees, the arm vertical. I'm going to place the device just proximal to the elbow. And as I will with all of these, I'm going to ask her to take a second or two to come to a maximum effort and then continue to push into the device as hard as she can until I say stop. Okay, here's what I want you to do. When I say go, a second or two, then as hard as you can. Three, two, one, go ahead. That's it. Harder, 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 and relax. Now we're going to measure shoulder abduction or abduction. It's done with the shoulder at 45 degrees in this horizontal plane. I'm going to place the device again just proximal to the elbow and I'm going to say when I say go I want you to take a second or two to come to maximum effort and pull your arm away from your body as hard as you can. Ready? Go ahead. That's it. Harder, 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 harder and relax. 33 pounds. Now we're going to measure shoulder extension. Again, the arms or the shoulders at 90 degrees. We're going to allow her elbow to flex. Again, I'm going to place the device just proximal to the elbow. Stabilize here. And when I say go, take a second or two to come to your maximum effort. Then drive your arm down as hard as you can. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Go. Harder, 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 and relax. Good job. About 48 pounds. Now we're going to measure shoulder external rotation. Again, her shoulder now is at 45 degrees of abduction. Her elbow is at 90 degrees. I'm going to stabilize here, place the dynamometer just proximal to the styloids. I'm going to say go and then take a second or two to your maximum effort. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Harder, 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 and relax. Now we're going to measure shoulder internal rotation strength. Again, the shoulders at about 45 degrees of abduction, the elbows at 90 degrees, and I'm going to place this just proximal to her styloids. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go ahead, roll it in. Harder, 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 and relax. 28 pounds. Now we're going to measure elbow flexion. This is done with the elbow at 90 degrees. Again, the dynamometer is placed just proximal to the styloids, and one way of doing that is to be up here. I'm just going to move this just a tad. Okay, it's going to again. When I say go, you take a second or two to your maximum effort. Then continue until I say stop. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go ahead. Pull harder, 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 and relax. 44 pounds. Now we're going to measure elbow extension. Again, arms slightly away from the body, elbow at 90 degrees, placing the device just proximal to the styloids. Okay, when I say go again, you're going to take a second or two to your best effort, then continue until I say stop. Okay. Ready, go ahead, straighten it out, harder, 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 and relax. Okay, 23 pounds. Okay, now we're going to measure wrist extension. Elbow generally at 90 degrees again, the forearm vertical, the wrist in neutral. I'm going to place the device just here at the distal part of the hand before crossing the MP joints. Again, it's going to be a second or two, then as hard as you can. Ready, three, two, one, go ahead. Harder, 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 and relax. 19 pounds. Now we're going to measure hip flexion. This is done with the thigh basically in a vertical position, the hip at 90 degrees. I'm going to stabilize across the pelvis, place the device here. Again, take a second or two to come to maximum effort, and then as hard as you can. Okay, ready? Go ahead, pull up. Harder, 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 and relax. And we've got about 24 pounds. Now we're going to measure hip abduction. In other words, how forcefully she can pull her leg out to the side. For that, she's in basically anatomical position here at the hips. 
I'm going to support her leg down here just off the table. I'm going to apply the dynamometer just proximal to her lateral joint line. And again, it's going to be a second or two to your max, then as hard as you can. Okay, ready? Go ahead, out to the side. That's it. Harder, 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 and relax. Now we're going to measure ankle dorsiflexion. So we're going to see how vigorously she can draw her ankle up like this. I'm going to apply the device here, just proximal to the toes. I'm going to stabilize by leaning over like this. Again, she's going to take a second or two to come to maximum effort. Okay, ready? Go ahead, pull it up. That's it. Harder, 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 and relax. 53 pounds. Very good. Now we're going to measure knee extension. Very often that this is being done, there would be, need to be an additional individual here to help hold the person being tested down. But what we're going to do, in this case, leave the leg hanging freely, so it's at about 90 degrees. I'm going to take the dynamometer and place it just proximal to her lateral and medial malleolus here, or malleoli. I'm going to hold on to the table, because if the person is strong, I need to be stabilized so I don't get pushed away. So I'm going to come in here like this, place the device, and the instructions are going to be the same. When I say go, I want you to take a second or two to come to your maximum knee extension effort and continue with that until I say stop. Okay, ready? Go ahead, push it out. That's it. And relax. Good. Now we're going to measure knee flexion. Again, same position with the body. The dynamometer, again, we place just proximal to the malleoli, but in this case, she's going to bend in her knee backwards. And I'm going to ask her to take a second or two, as before, to come to that effort, then continue until I say stop. Okay, go ahead, pull it back. That's it, harder, 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 and relax. Okay. Now we're using the handheld dynamometer in a specific way. This is called belt-resisted testing. The point here is that the quadriceps are so strong that sometimes the person who's holding the dynamometer has insufficient strength to hold against the effort of the person being tested. But first, notice the straps that are used for stabilization. She's on some cushions in the chair, and, but the straps are holding her down to it so we can get an accurate full measurement. Then I come down and reset, just proximal to the malleoli again. The instructions are as they've been before. When I say go, I want you to take a second or two to come to a maximum effort. Then continue to straighten your knee as hard as you can until I say stop. Okay, go ahead. That's it. Harder, 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 and relax. 134.2 pounds. We've used the handheld dynamometer to measure the strength of 13 different muscle actions, some upper, some lower limb. In every case, the dynamometer was held in the hand of the examiner. However, in one case, with the belt-resistant method, the belt was being used to absorb a lot of the load being generated by the person being tested simply because the forces can be so high. All the measurements were obtained, gravity eliminated. For many of these measurements, there are normative values available to which the individual can be compared. There are other actions that might be tested that we did not go over, and one can use their own ingenuity uh, to do those things. Again, trying probably to maintain gravity eliminated positions and to stabilize effectively with the limb not holding the dynamometer.